This video covers identifying functions from relations. A relation is a function yeah. if each x value, which we can think of as the input or the independent variable or an element of the domain, only maps to one y value. So each x value only maps to one y value. The y values are thought of as the output or the dependent variable or an element of the range. So that's how we define function, is that each input only maps to one output. The set of all input values is called the domain, and the set of all output values is called the range. So oftentimes we think of all the possible x values as the domain and all the possible y values as the range. A function may be defined as a set of ordered pairs, a table, a graph, or a verbal description. Let's look at a few examples. And what we want to know is, are these relations functions? So the first example, we're given a table, and we're given the domain values of G, A, D, and X, and the range values of D, J, W, and W. So what we're trying to check is, does each domain value map to only one range value. So G maps to D, A maps to J, D maps to W, and X maps to W. So essentially, because there were no repeated domain values, each domain value is only mapping to a single range value. So this one right here would be a function. The next one, we have a domain of negative 3, 4, negative 9, 8, and negative 8. So what we're trying to determine is, does each domain value only map to one range value. So from negative three, there's only one arrow coming out of it. From positive four, there's only one arrow coming out of it. Negative nine only has one arrow. Positive eight only has one arrow. And negative eight only has a single arrow. And so this one would also be a function because each domain value only has one arrow mapping from it. Each domain value only has one arrow. Now, let me give you an example of something that would not be a function. If I was thinking of this mapping, and let's say I had the mapping um, in my domain, I had negative three, four, negative nine, eight, and negative eight. eight and negative eight. So I'm using the same values as over there. And then let's say I had the values two, three, four, and five for my y. Now negative three maps to two. Let's say four maps to three. Negative nine maps to four. Eight maps to four. That's okay as long as eight's only mapping to a single one. But then negative eight maps to five and it maps to three. So the issue is not that 
four in the range has two arrows coming into it. The issue is that negative eight in the domain has two arrows coming out of it. So this would not be a function. Because negative eight in the domain maps to both five and three. So it's okay to have a repeated y value, it's not okay to have a repeated x value or an x value that maps to more than one y value. You can also um, be given a list of ordered pairs. Here I have the ordered pairs negative seven comma t, the ordered pair eight comma t, the ordered pair negative seven comma a, and the ordered pair negative one comma x. Now the way I tell whether there is um, a repeated x value is I look at each x value. If it shows up more than once, that means that it's not a function because negative seven in the domain is mapping both to t and to a. So this is not a function. because negative seven in the domain, remember the domain is all the input values, maps to both T and A, in the range. So anytime you have a repeated X value or a repeated domain value, you're not going to have a function. In the examples up above, we had no repeated domain values and we had no domain values that had more than one output arrow coming from them. So if you have no repeated domain values or no domain values with more than one arrow coming out, then it is a function. Whereas if you have a repeated domain value or a domain value that has more than one arrow coming out of it, it's not a function. When you are given a graph, you can use something called the vertical line test to tell whether your relationship is a function or not. A set of points in a coordinate plane is the graph of a function if, and only if, no vertical line intersects the graph in more than one point. So for example, we have this blue curve and we have the vertical line um, in red. Now, no matter where I put that vertical line, it's only going to hit my graph at one point. If I move my vertical line over to where x equals three, that vertical line would only hit the graph at y equals three. If I moved the vertical line over to a one, x equals one, the vertical line would only hit the graph at y equals three. So this is an example of a function and you just tell that by looking at whether any vertical line would hit the graph in more than one y value or not. Now here we have a sideways curve and you can see that if we drew a vertical line here that it would hit the graph in more than one spot. It would hit the graph in two spots. And so because of that, we would say that this graph is not a function or not the graph of a function. So you can determine whether a graph is a function by using the vertical line test. <clears throat>